I loves me some one degree mm, of Chunky B. Now, I just have to make a comment about Chunky B. Have you ever seen him looking so good? That includes actress Lady Kazan, comedian Chunky B, and Playboy TV host Julie Strain. Chunky? Uh, what was the question? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Chunky B TV. One degree of Chunky B, and I want to let you know it's kind of a laid-back Tuesday night. Um, there's been so much commotion going on at uh, all our workplaces and. Um, I thought the three of us would just like tap the brakes, look each other in the eye, mm -hmm. and talk like a fucking podcast and friends, and 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 just um, dial into uh, what the fuck's going on. I can you know see what I'm saying? that. Yeah, sure. And we are experimenting with a little bit of a different audio setup. So if you do hear a little humming, is somebody's phone ringing? That's somebody's phone. Is that's that my phone. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, hold on, that's my son. Oh shit. Oh, oh, speaker phone, speaker oh phone. put it on. Speaker. All right, hold on. All right, let me call him because he. Okay, I'll get he, the, I'll, um, I'll get everybody. Beck else made speed. barbecue sauce. I cooked the chicken, and West ate all of his food. And he's coming back from football practice right now, and he's not not gonna be happy. Okay, can you um? I put on speaker. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, don't don't say anything. Uh oh. Let's see. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, got drama. We go. A little bit of drama in the Adler home. Yeah. I see you, motherfucker. Let's see. No, go, go over the no top. Go over the top. It. Hey, Westy, it's Data. Hey. Hey, man. Uh, did you eat all of the chicken? What? Did you eat all of the chicken? I bet he did. I bet. No, I had one little thing. But the the whole thing was empty. Did you think Louie jumped up there and ate it? He definitely did. Oh my God, oh, the, the dog, dog, dude. Not the dog. The dog. We need I a camera. Did not eat all right, Westy, thank you. Hey, right. be safe out there and don't do drugs. Okay. Okay, bye. All right. A little slice of the uh, behind Louis. the scenes at the Adler It was Louie. Hold on. Let me just text my wife real quick to tell her it was the dog. Uh, wait, Would you see bones and shit? Sure? It, was, it was No, the there was boneless. It was definitely the it was, dog. It was boneless. Oh, yeah, because I... Definitely the dog. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm getting that feeling. <laughs> all right. Let's get back right, on here track. Here we go. Um, okay, you guys. We'll edit all that out. Okay, no, sure. we won't. Um, I know we're coming in. We're coming in sloppy. We're coming in real, people. You know, it's about time that you just sit back with uh, just one degree of chunky pee in the garage of love. And you know him. You love him. You just saw a little bit of his uh, personal life. Please, Gary Adler, give it up for the executive producer of love. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that was a little weird. You know, we uh, I'll, just a little backstory. Yeah. I barbecued some chicken. My son's at football practice. And uh, my other son, who's on his way to islands right now was eating dinner with us, and uh, my wife just texted me a picture of the big plate with all the chicken that was in it for Beck, gone completely. So she's like, did Westy eat his chicken and then go to Islands? Turns out the dog ate the chicken. But was it over tin foil? What the dog's going to take it? It was right on top of the table. It had a nap. It had a, like a paper towel on top of it. Right. You know? I think the dog got it. So wait, he had dinner with you before he went to Islands. Yeah, he said he wasn't going to eat at Islands, which means he's having a big milkshake or something. Okay. Yeah. okay. Andy Davey, everybody. Andy hey, Davey. Oh, there he is, hey. the new technical director of One Degree of Chunky B. Yeah. Okay, listen, we're, we're, we're coming in sloppy. Let's, let's kind of fine-tune um, our objective. Well, our let's tell the folks at home why we're doing this. I mean, you know, uh, we've been having guests on for two weeks at a time right. because you and I have gotten really busy. Yeah. And uh, we have a bunch of guests lined up, uh, just not for tonight. Yeah, yeah. You know? And what happens What happens when you're doing a podcast, people? And if, you, if you're tuning in, you know the podcast world. It is not, um, you know... An exact science? It's not an exact science, <laughs> but it's not a priority. For some people, like, wait, wait a second. First of all, it's a little bit out of our way. It's 8 o'clock on a Tuesday night. Yeah. But you, so if anything, if the wind changes, so does our guest. 
you know, that's so th- right. We had a right. couple of cancellations tonight, so we're, you right. and I are just winging it, man. Right, right, right. There's nothing wrong with that. No, nothing. And you know something? You can always wing it <laughs> with Venice nice Duck. Nice seg you, Look my friend. <laughs> you guys get it. John Henry and uh, Christian Warren, keep up the good work. Love to love you. Yeah, and bring us some beer, man. Yeah, you know something? We're out of this right yeah, now. Yeah, we're out. This is the one we love. Yeah, we can't say that we're drinking other beer. Um, There's a lot of things that I, I just want to... Um, talk about okay and one is i know we got the nfl's k- kicking in and i'm over there working at nfl plus our sons are playing both tackle our boys football. playing tackle football yeah. all that um let's just save that topic i want to uh talk about something that's really bothering me my um lack of uh, pre-studying movies that i take my kids to inappropriate movies and i want to let you know i failed the last two times oh no let me bust this down how awkward and like I brought my family to D-Train with Blackjack. Does anybody have any idea what D-Train is about? Uh, no. Jack Black lives in the middle, the Midwest, yeah. and one of their uh, kids that they went to high school with moved out and got a national commercial for some sunscreen. So everybody in the Midwest thinks he's a big star. They want him to go to the high school reunion. So Black, uh, Jack Black flies out to find him Say, listen, you're going to be our big guy. Yeah. We need you for attendance. Turns out he's a schmuck, drug dealing, drug taking, crazy guy. And Jack Black, and he and Jack Black get so fucked up that they butt fuck. Oh. Really? That's the D train. That's the movie? Yes. And I'm with my kids and wife at this yeah. in Culver City. I see. That's and they, taking scatological humor just way above. I was in yeah. shock. It That's was, crazy. And that was a theatrical release? Yes. Look was it, it up. rated R? Yes, it was rated R. Wow. But I thought Jack Black. It's really R. Yeah, that is R. That's ouch. Yeah, and, and people, <laughs> that's a, seriously. That's A-R. Look up D-Train. D-train. And that's what it means? Yeah. Banging your friend? But if you know anyone from social services, don't tell them because they'll rip the kids right out of this house. <laughs> that's how That's <laughs> how crazy this freaking movie is. Look at me. This was a month ago. I'm still disturbed. All right. What was movie number two? <laughs> My, my daughter and I try to get some quality time, right? I take it to the matinee. Dope. No, I went. I, I saw um, a crazy train. Another train movie. What's yeah, you gotta stay away. <laughs> is, is it called Crazy Train? Train, train wreck. Train wreck. That's train wreck. Train wreck. You need to stay away from the train yeah, movies, no, no man. And crazy train. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Little Ozzy right there. No, um, uh, yeah, the, the, the train wreck and not appropriate oh, with yeah. the Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer, she's yeah, filthy. She, yeah, she's, yeah, she's dirty filthy. as hell. Yeah, she's. But really all filthy. of a sudden, it's all about the opening part is her fucking every guy she get her hands on and doing bong hits <laughs> and drinking <laughs> and waking up yeah. in strangers' apartments. Uh, oh God, oh, what the fuck? Is that's your when you patted your daughter on the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I'm> like, baby. <laughs> so inappropriate moves, and I don't know where I'm going with this exactly, and I don't, I don't but. I just have to get it off my chest in case anyone, like, if it comes back. I hear you. I listen, I have a tough time going to the movies these days. How about you, Andy? You got a brood. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't. It, well, I was, I think, the first one to possibly uh, show your kids, like, PG-13 movies. Yes, you were inappropriately. Because I just They were no, four and five I, I at no the time. Idea. I just, I just assumed that. Oh, we would go to Andy's house, and his six-year-old would be watching Spider-Man. You know, like, yeah. like the movie. Oh, yeah, glued. Know? Glued. Yeah, glued. <laughs> right, right. My kids had never even seen it yet. They were like ten. Well, but you know? but truth be told, Beck, again, six or seven. That's right. I said, hey Beck, are, did your parents allow you to see PG thirteen movies? Yeah. Me thinking that he's going to answer honestly. Oh yeah, right. He said yes. Of course he did. He wanted so to see he the wanted PG to see Transformer. He wanted to see Transformers badly. Yeah, and he has all the movies. Yeah. You've got them all. Oh, I got. Them. He's got all. How of do you get them all? I've He's our you. technical director. <laughs> Put it together. Put two ah, and two together. Right on. Right on. Right on. <laughs> so all right. I just wanted. To, I just. I was just thinking about that. I just was thinking about that. Um, I'm really bad at picking out movies for the kids. But I don't like going to movies anymore because I like. We went to Jurassic World, which was a pretty good movie, but there were people in there with like one year olds, two year olds, infants. And it's like uncomfortable because it's loud as fuck. Right. They shouldn't be seeing those images. They don't even know what a fucking. They can't put anything in no. context. No. It's just horrible yeah, it's imagery coming at yeah. them for an hour and a half. Yeah, my eight year olds loved it. When they were two? <laughs> no, no. Not when they're yeah. two. Like, no. 
Well, yeah, the, the, yeah the, we had kids in the, the theater too, little kids, but you would just hear them crying because they wanted to leave. Of course they did. It's too fuck fucking loud. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and I know some people right now are listening and watching this podcast going, do we really care about your fucking kids in their movies? <laughs> but I'll tell you what, you're gonna, we're going to change the subject right now. And I don't know if you um, saw this uh, at Venice Beach. Yeah. A, some thugs and a, a, a nasty chick walking down the, the pier smoking. Lifeguard yells, hey, dude, hey, you're not allowed. And right. all of a sudden, it's a brawl. It's a brawl. Well, the, the dude the, flicked the cigarette up at the lifeguard. Right. And right. then they started yelling at each other in Armenian because they were both parties were Armenian from what I understand. And then lifeguard jumps down and they just jumped all over his shit, man. Yeah, yeah. And then our boy Oscar. And if you right. know anything about Venice and uh, the legend that is Oscar, who um, is known for, he's famous for his T-shirts, yeah, the Breakwater oh, T-shirts. Here we go. Look at this. All right on. Look That's at that. Oscar's <laughs> company right there. Oscar, nice. we're giving you a little plug here, buddy. But Oscar was on the news, and I got worried about Oscar when I saw him with the, you know, the traffic cone, uh-huh. and he took a couple swings, and I was going to, to be honest with you, they were kind of wimpy. Were well, wimpy. look, the guy's our age, okay? Right. He had bare feet. Right. He was doing the best he can. Now, there was a part of the video where the cone was gone, and he was just throwing haymakers. I know. That's why. Yeah. Thank you. Because I, yeah. I was just, I'm busting his balls about the yeah. first two swings with the cone. Yeah, everyone did. And then he got his traction. <laughs> yeah. And then he was a, the regular Oscar badass. Yeah. Wasn't but, he like the only one actually helping out? Or was there yeah. It was 6 p.m. on a, uh, what was it, a Saturday or something, Sunday? Yeah. Now, the thing is, and, and what I thought about that video afterwards was, if that would have happened at, say, 6.30 a.m. Forget about it. Those oh, yeah. Though they would be dead, yeah. All those people would be dead. Yeah. No, flashing back that did not make the news. You were a witness to. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. I, yeah, stuff happens down there all the time. Yeah. I'm definitely not gonna name names, but um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you the story without naming any no, names. Of course. Okay. Yeah. And this is a place that my kids surf every morning. Yep. And these, the local boys there love our my kids. They love all the kids there from like six to eight. Um, and these are guys that have grew up there. Six to like, eight a.m. You're six to the eight a.m. The older guys they kind of let the young kids have the break. So the reason why my son and 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 another and a bunch of other kids around here have gotten so good is they get reps, rep after rep after rep. They get any wave they want because they're allowed to have. And right. if someone comes in and drops in on the kids, it, it, they, right. they get you know yelled at from the pier. So um, one day. Uh, one of my neighbors was going surfing, a grown man, you know, with kids and everything, uh, in his mid twenties. And one of the uh, bums from underneath the pier threw a beer out and hit him in the feet. And he started yelling at him like, fuck you, get the fuck out of here. You're ruining this place. You know, cause he's from here, you know, this is right. his fucking, this is where he grew up, you know? And, uh. So they went at it. He went in the water. All of a sudden, there's like 15 of these guys, transient people that hang out down at the... They come there for a couple of days and then they leave. Right. They, they, they sleep under the pier that, you know... Yeah. And they're not like, you know, the greatest people uh, in society. Right. I, I don't want to, you know... I know sure you don't want to dog them, cool. but they're homeless troublemakers. I will say troublemakers. this. My kids call them zombies. Right. Because when oh, it's... Yeah, they look like <laughs> just Gotcha. They say, yeah. They, yeah, they're like, Dad, come to the car. I'm like, why? Like zombies. zombies. <laughs> so I have to escort them to the car. But anyway, so there's about 15 of these guys now, and they're waiting for my neighbor to come out of the water so they can kick his ass. Right. Okay? Well, some of the local boys get wind of this, grab pipes and baseball bats and whatever they can, and just go, hey, man, what are you guys doing? And they're like, oh, we're waiting for that asshole to come in. And then all of a sudden, it was on and you know they just kicked the shit out of these guys i was in the water surfing and my kids were in the water surfing while it was happening i was watching it from the water wow and uh then the cops came took all the transients away pretty much high-fived all the local boys right that's how it is down there they you know it's like fuck man unfortunately that particular pier is uh right in the heart you know of 14 million people and and yeah. on weekends it gets crazy and right. in the morning there's leftover people from last night and Venice Pier yeah, straight down man. Washington Boulevard it's fucking crazy but I swear to God I love all those boys down there and they take mm. care of my kids yeah 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 yeah. your yeah. kids are under the uh, protective program that's right <laughs> you know no one's gonna touch those I don't kids. know how I snuck in there yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy um, speaking of uh, more water sports did you see that motherfucker on the motorcycle right that someone explain crazy. that to me have you seen this wait I haven't seen it Robbie Madison 
He's the guy who oh, did the surfing on the motorcycle. Yeah. He did the Arc de Triomphe. Remember that in Vegas at at uh, Paris, Vegas. Oh, he did. That, he oh, jumped that thing and landed on top of the fucking same guy. Yeah, okay. same guy. So cool. he uh, he had something rigged up to his bike where he could ride it on the bicycle. on the water. And I saw it. So what, what he did is totally modified it, made it lighter, put some airbags in case it goes down. And his tire, his back tire, is like a big paddle. It's like six inch yeah, rubber, like a paddleboard. Right. Yeah. And it just generates. And I just saw it. It almost looked like it was crazily photoshopped, but it was not. And there's a there's a little story coming out where he was in Thailand with those big 15, 20 foot waves, and he got caught in one. Not Thailand. It was it's your, uh, in uh, Tahiti. Tahiti. Yeah. There's no Starts real wave. There's no waves in Thailand. Oh, you haven't heard? I've been there <laughs> <laughs> with a surfboard. Right. Okay. <laughs> We're saying, where's the waves? Yeah. Except for that when that tsunami went came through. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good time to surf. <laughs> good times. <laughs> Yeah, it was good times. Um, yeah, so this badass uh, just modifies a motorcycle and, and puts a some kind of like sled yeah. by the wheels. And it is crazy. Oh, what I'm saying, I, he, he went down. He went down, and they lost him oh, for four yeah. minutes. Oh, no way. Yeah, this, the story's coming out. They're going to be like, okay, they're going to put this video together. Oh, like wait, a is he attached to the motorcycle? Is he strapped no, so no, he just got so caught up in oh, the, uh, the surf. surf. Yeah. Plus, the, he's weighted down with, a, I don't know why he had all his gear on. He, it looked like he had all his leathers on. Like, dude, right. he, that's <laughs> the worst thing you can do. Well, I think it, the oxymoron. Yeah. I think, you know, it was like a dirt bike on the water. I think yeah. he wanted to look Yeah, apart. but I'll tell you what. I will say this about the tape. He never really caught a wave that good. He was always behind it. Oh, right, He right, was right. never really in it. And, like, I think it would take a surfer slash motocross rider like Sonny Garcia to pull that shit off. Right, right. Someone who can who does both regularly. Well, we'll see. We'll yeah. see because you know they're going to start manufacturing that. That's like a prototype. Yeah, but those things will not be allowed in surf breaks. Just like jet skis are not allowed in surf breaks. You know, only at certain times at certain breaks, but right. certainly not here or anywhere else. You know, no way. Right on. Right on. Um, okay, we're excited about the NFL. We're excited. About football. Yeah, I'm fired up. And man. the reason why I'm even doubly excited is because the phone's ringing over at the NFL. They need me in that studio, and I I'm shooting it. some decent camera. I love it. I'm taking some chances. A lot of people just do that, you know, the talking head lock off. Yeah, no way, I'm man. I'm selling some shit out there. You've panned up before. I've seen <laughs> it. I did it. Very rare this time I've of year. I've seen it. Um, but You've I, done the quick look away and back. Mm. <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's not bad. That's But, man, I'll tell you what, it's, it's, it's like almost. The holiday season. You like going NFL. in there? Love it. Yeah. I love it. But we're doing this show now called the um, it, um, Inside training the Training Camp. Yeah, in, I, I watched that Inside the show. Training Camp. And it's 13 hours of like live, oh God, it looks like uh, Des, what's his face, is, d d d ran across the field. Each and every, oh God, yeah. look at that, that guy's I saw when, they, when Desmond Howard pushed that dude. Yeah. They there played that like 17,000 yeah, times. right. Slow motion. <laughs> Had, oh but what the God. one dude was saying, though, which made sense, I think it was Tiki Barber. Um, he said, look, this shit you, happens all the time, every day. It's just not cameras everywhere. Right. It's like, why are there cameras everywhere now? You know, it's crazy. Because NFL is building their brand, and they're, they are everywhere. <sighs> yeah, they need more money, for sure. They're it's, hurting. It's crazy. They're hurting, man. <laughs> they need more cameras. and More cameras and more money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But... Um, you can feel it. You can feel it in the studio. That, that I don't. You know. It's I don't think the hosts and everything are faking it, but they're um, they're all jacked up. They're Everybody's all jacked up for this up. new season. So what's the talk? Who's the team? Who's the team to beat this year? You know the standard. The standard. Some people are saying the Seahawks are to be coming back. Can I tell you my my prediction right now? Because you want us to do Super Bowl predictions right this. Okay, second. here's the prediction. You got to name the two teams that will be in the Super Bowl and who will win the game. Okay. Go. Um, it's going to be uh, Bengals in the NFC. Uh, sh yeah. Okay. Dude, I can, come on. I Cincinnati Bengals versus the New England Patriots, and the Bengals are going to win. Ooh. I know that's out of the box, but You're I got crazy. a feeling about the Bengals this year. Man. They're going to be the Seahawks of last year and the year before. Really? Mark my words, baby. All right, Andy, you got your head wrapped around anything? Well, well, I got a dream bowl, and I got an actual bowl. Can we put 10 bucks on this? Yeah, we'll put 10 bucks. Write it down. 10 well, bucks. Well, not, but, not, but then my dream bowl will never. Okay, actual, right, so actual bowl, Denver Broncos, Patriots. Broncos, 
Patriots by 10. Pats. And you're saying Patriots win. Dream Bowl. I'm Detroit saying Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bengals, Pats, Bengals win. And Chunky? I hate to I I hate to sound so uncreative. I think it's going to be the same thing is last year um Pats uh Seahawks. Seahawks but I'm going Seahawks. Pats. Yeah. Seahawks. You Would can't count the Seahawks out, man. And you're saying Seahawks. Yeah, I'm going Seahawks. All right. Chunky, Gary, Andy, great to see you guys. I'm so glad you guys are making NFL picks. I love it. But let's get something straight. Cincinnati, Denver, and New England are all AFC teams that can never meet in the Super Bowl. Chunky, you work for the NFL. What the hell? I thought about editing this so you don't get fired, but I'm going to go ahead and give you my pick instead to correct all you guys. It's going to be the Arizona Cardinals and the New England Patriots. We all know it. We'll see you in January. Hey, you guys. Chunky B. One degree of chunky being a garage of love, and you know if you want to get your quack on, you go to Venice Duck. And I'm not even kidding. This is a good beer. Tell your friends, don't be afraid to get your quack on. Dude, that's actually it's this is actually a really good beer. It's fucking great beer. <laughs> You're so lucky. Oh, my, oh shit, I'm still recording. Hey you guys, music provided by Play Up Music. That's playupmusic.com. John Glitzner here. You are listening and watching One Degree of Chunky B. You wanted me to say that. I said it. You did. Back in the night, Back in the over here's got a dream what's what's your dream here's our picks right there people okay wait nice. wait let's name them this is andy was, uh, is, uh, detroit lions gary and the los angeles rams oh, oh the los man. angeles rams come on <laughs> that's not gonna happen <laughs> yeah what's the word on that chunk come on give us the inside scoop baby i don't know i don't know everyone just acts like they know what they're saying the rams they're having troubles now trying to get out of what they got going in st louis um it would nice. It would be great to have San Diego come up here, you know. That'd be awesome. But uh, everyone's just talking, talking shit. Hey, we got we got three stadiums potentially. I think the one should be down in Carson, right off the highway, Carson would be perfect. Off, off the freeway yeah. there. I, I'm going to a meeting in a couple of weeks for the Hollywood Park one. Why are you going to a meeting for it? Because I do signage and stuff. All right, Chunk. Here we go. Yeah. So. Can you see that, Andy? Big big presentation. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you see it in the camera? Nope. <laughs> well, it's over there. It's over there. I, it's I, on yeah, the fridge. You can see it where you put it. Okay, okay. I can't read it. A lot to expect from a little. <sighs> so you guys might be involved in designing some of the environment. Well, we were already gonna do Farmer's Field if that came through. Have you guys done any mock-up stuff for people? Not yet. Not yet. But that works around right now, I imagine. Like, what would this look like if it was the Chargers or it was the yeah, yeah. Rams? No, it's definitely that. Hey, G, that a lot of, a lot hey. of that going around. And then, uh, yeah, the Hollywood Park, that's going to be a huge. What's huge going on? Oh, is so that a possibility for a stadium? No. Absolutely. Oh, it is? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Would the casino stay there? Nope. That would be gone. Nope. They would make it another. They'll, they'll make it this whole forum. Oh right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh my God, that would be cool. awesome too. But the yeah, Carson that would be one awesome. looks crazy cool, huh? But wouldn't it be nice to have it in a fairly decent? Well, I guess the neighborhood would change, but if they don't let tailgating, at least go to pubs and go to like places to go that you can just walk to the stadium. Yeah. You know, I'm still bitter about Dodger Stadium. Yeah. A lot of people don't know if you you know if you're not from LA, you never you go up this freaking hill and you're isolated. That's it. They don't even let you the Dodger guys. Do, don't even let you tailgate whatsoever. Once nope. you park into the parking lot, you've guys got you got the uh, the guys on the bicycles, cops on bikes, yeah, and they circle yeah. your car Can't until you it. lock up and they see you walk into the stadium. Nah. No fun. That's crap. That's no crap. fun, man. It's tailgating. And speaking of tailgating, um, the producer did get back to me at NFL, and? I, and I think it's safe to say that we. <laughs> 
are off the table? No, we're not. No, we're not. What, what I'm saying, uh, Gary and I pitched a, uh, a segment idea for game day morning, and they got back to me and said, we feel as if this is uh, really lukewarm. We like it. We don't love it. But they want to make some changes on the drop-ins. Too many, we have too many drop-ins. They want to drop in once an hour. We'll talk about this off air. Perfect. So we can re-pitch them? Yeah. They, they, uh, wanna, they gave us notes. Yes, they gave us notes. That's awesome. To get back on, yep. All right, we're Very still cool. alive. I saw that guy today. He's, he's, he's really nice. And well, I'm excited for football for a couple of reasons. One, I get to go to your son's football games. Yeah, ninth grade, Pally High. Is that going to be on a Friday, Thursday night? Is that a, I haven't even asked when the, when the games it's are It's JV, be. right? He's just got... JV. Now, where is he at? Is he, what position is he going to be playing? You know? uh, right now, tight end. Perfect. So we, uh, no linebacker? Um, he's going to be a defensive end. Okay, that's good too. Yeah. He's so quick. he um, he uh, came in tonight, and he's walking in the kitchen, and he's all like sore and stuff. And yeah, yeah. my boy, he's uh, he's fourteen. He's six foot, one hundred seventy five pounds, and he's and he's you know he's got some. Stocky. He's a yeah. beast. Yeah, um, so uh, I go. Are they still? Are they? You catching anything? Are you, are you doing any drills with catching? Because he's all week long has it all last week. And he's like, uh, the coach came up to me and said. Next time uh, we do drills, I want you to go with the wide receivers, but you are, are you're a tight end. That's so great. So don't worry about it. Oh, so now great. he got the little confidence. Like, yeah, one, he's going to be great. a starter. That's what he, he got out of the conversation. I said, well, you, you know, you just got to keep working hard. And he's at that age where I can't tell him anything. Of course not. I work at the NFL, and it, 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 you hear these Hall of Famers saying in and out, I'm there for nine hours yeah, you get of just off. listening to these guys you've got no choice you have to listen if you start daydreaming you're gonna you, miss you, a shot you miss a shot yeah you know you can't you got it and you have to listen to these guys and they are full of wisdom they're smart but you know i'm sitting there like, well jack you know when you go off the line move your hands this way it's dead well i'm just telling you i work at the fucking nfl <laughs> and then your boy your boy's pads. Yeah, back. I cannot wait. This is going to be. Dude, we're going to have to. We're going to have to put video. We're going to put video of your son on this podcast, and yours. Yeah, yeah. I got a new video camera, so we'll videotape them. Yeah, they started practice in pads this week, and uh, it looks like he's going to start uh, running back and wide receiver. Oh my he's, god, he's he's good, man. He is good. He's quick. He's yeah. he's a great great athlete. They um, yeah. I just, but the size factor is going to be. People. No, he's playing with kids his size and bigger. Okay. So it's going to be interesting. But he's so fast, like. Yep. He's snapping ankles already, dude. It was funny. really. It's funny, yeah. Right on, right on. And he's all muscle. I he's mean, he's a, got the, his core, his stomach. Yeah. I mean, is so tight. Well, he's probably, I would imagine, the only kid who's been surfing for ten years on that team. You know. Right. And he's like a fucking rock, man. Yeah. Like yeah. he beats my ass. Uh, so it should be fun. You know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. He didn't want to play quarterback and he's not playing quarterback. They got a good quarterback. They got a right. great team. Like right. and then if they go to like eventually they go to the Super Bowl or whatever of this Pee Wee Pop Warner <laughs> right, League, it's right. in like Orlando. Dude, I know, know all about it. <laughs> you are on a really extremely competitive football team. Oh yeah. You're, you, that whole um is it the Viking League? It's the West Side Vikings, not the Santa Monica right. Vikings. West Side Vikings. Yes, yeah, the P. It's a uh, Pop Warner Pee Wee football. Okay, I'm telling you. Yeah, you, you're going to be dealing with some hardcore parents, dude. I'm down. Coaches, yes. don't take shit from anybody. Uh, the coaches are really good, really, right. really good. From what I've seen so far, they're they're just good, good people who know a lot about football right. and who who are drilling the kids so they get ready for the games. Right on, right on. But check this out. It's another change of subject. Going back to the beach. Going yeah. back to the water. Your son and my son are going once again to the World Championship body surfing competition in Oceanside, California. Is that this weekend? No. It's a, it's a weekend after? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be great. Why? You're hesitant. No, no, no. I'm just, my cat, the calendar's going through my head. Right. But no, no, no. You're, you're taking them. Your wife's Nancy, taking them. Nancy's taking them. I'm working. Yeah. Um, but check this out. You know, you uh, Jack and West mm -hmm. adore each other, but they're extremely competitive. But they're in separate divisions now. That's what I'm going to tell you. That's right. Jack was like, you know, um, it's going to be, uh, I got to go out there and practice. I got to practice. I know West is good. And then Nancy was like, wait a second. You guys aren't even in the same division. Yeah, and no. you were just like, Jack was like, yes. <laughs> well, Westy um, is coming off of a win at the Ocean Park 26 contest. Right. 
in the body surfing division. Like there was 16 grown men and, right. and Westy, and he won that thing. Yeah, so I'm not him. telling. I'm not telling on Westy or anything, but I um, I have him on Instagram. Oh no! And did, did he say anything about a, a jumping off the pier at night thing? Do you know uh, anything about this? I know he went. He went with Jack to go to the Grunion Run, which was way too early in the season. There's no Grunion. <laughs> And uh, so he told me he went there. Jack was there too, right? Was I don't. Someone ta- someone did it on a phone. Video did it on the phone. I think your son did it too. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. I would not be shocked because they went together. All right. All right. I just saw it the other day. He just posted it. He posted it on Instagram. Yeah. See, I haven't been able to get on my Instagram account since I got my new phone. So yeah, yeah, you gotta keep up with the kids, dude. Fuck, I you gotta keep up. I with can't the kids. keep up with them. They're eating chicken and you know. right, right on, right on. <laughs> Andy, uh, we've been uh, we, we've been just BSing about uh, our family. Um, so people are just getting to know Andy Davy right now. Andy, just break the, to the people at home. Break down your family uh, structure. <laughs> yeah. Well. <clears throat> I live with my mom <laughs> in the basement. <laughs> the, the basement is kind of cold in the summer. It's nice. Uh, well, Carl is the queen. Of course. I'm the king. Mm-hmm. And we've got uh, the oldest, Chloe. She's 13. Right. She's a nightmare. <laughs> she's psychotic. What? I thought she's always a mellow. Oh, mellow. she's oh, sweet. She, she's so sweet. Oh, she's just They're crazy. all psychotic, bro. Crazy. Yeah. And then, uh, then uh, Julian got the a twins. Middle child. Yeah. yeah, middle child. He's a minute older than Lilia, and suffers the middle child. Since, yeah, really, the one, one minute, minute yeah. middle child, minute in the syndrome. middle, and he's Big like time. huge. It's <laughs> painfully <laughs> obvious. Poor kid, totally into Minecraft. Oh yeah, yeah. He'll hack yeah. this whole thing. At some point. Right on. Right on. <laughs> yes, he will. Yeah. And All right. I'll never forget. And then, yeah, Lilia, the smallest one. She's the athletic one. I, I built her her American Ninja room. Oh, nice. Week. Yeah, so, Beck's all into that, too. Yeah, so she's got her her grips and her and her ropes, and we got her, her rope ladder. Nice. We're going to install that. She's, she's, a so, super, she's super athlete. She's so oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. She's she, you know, I, I say this publicly. She is my favorite. <laughs> Especially when we're down on the beach and all the That's all fair. the kids is cha- chaotic. I'm talking about families just yeah, everywhere. She's good. She'll your come daughter sit in your lap. Oh yeah, she's awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then she'll just go kill it on a boogie board. Yeah, then she'll, right. just die she'll be there. surfing really soon. She's ready. Yeah. yeah. With, this with, did you did she get up this summer? With uh, not well, she might have with Ollie and Nico because Ollie's up. Yeah. Oh, they're both up big yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. If she wants to go, oh yeah. You don't want to take her. I'll take her. No, she's. she's and Julian ready. is he getting in the water? Julian's getting in the water. We yeah. were teaching him to swim this last week. Yeah. In grandma's pool. Nice. Yeah. So All he's right. getting there. He's a little more nervous, you know? Yeah. yeah. What about Carla? She, I've seen Car- her down Car- there. Carla learned how to swim. She learned how you know to. What? I saw her. She, 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 she took a her. bad fall recently. She did. She broke her nose. Oh, brutal. Really? Would you push yeah. her down During the stairs? construction. No. 30 minutes before we sent the kids off to That's right. grandma and grandpa's, she trips on a piece of plywood out in the front yard, flat on her face crushes her nose breaks the tip of it off oh, on no. the inside we spend the first like you know afternoon of our vacation in the urgent care and i'm sure the next day wasn't a picnic either oh no it's just brutal she's yeah. Just, oh, yeah, just swollen Ugh. nasty there was no black alcohol. eyes what'd oh, you yeah. do just pull rippers and drink all day <laughs> pretty much <laughs> yeah. no, i fucking did all the work she was planning on doing or something. oh yeah there you go <laughs> Slotted right into oh, the honeydews, yeah. man. She's like, hey, what do you know? Yeah. I can't do this. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Can you cook me? Yeah. What do you, know? you know, I know the summer's not over, but we, we I don't think we dialed in at the beach well, we're, as much. Our, our kids yeah. are kind of past it a I little bit. Yeah. We haven't done the Sunday yet ourselves. This yeah. Sunday, we don't have anything going on. Want to do it this Sunday? We'll do it Sunday. Um, I may go down there. Okay. My, yeah. my wife and kids are down in San Diego, and uh, I think I dialed you in on this. And I'll, I'll kind Is of it poker night at the Chunky Ob- no, because I'm working Saturday, Sunday night. So yeah. I was putting it out there. Doesn't that, mean we can't have poker. Yeah, right, right. Exactly. <laughs> I put it out to the universe. Even though I, I, for the record, declared the fact that, yes, this is Nancy's cousin, long-distance cousin, and that she, we're not in a very, uh, commu- we don't communicate all that much, but when we do, it's very friendly. Even though they live just down in San Diego, we see him a couple times a year. Wedding. We get invited. And I'm saying, I couldn't say no. 
You're right. Okay, yeah, Nance, I'll go down there. I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll be you'll, a trooper. You'll power through. And then the kid that, you know, 14 and 16, are like, well, we're going down. And, 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 and. Like, yeah, this is mama's family. It's our family. We're going right. to do this. <laughs> and then I just uh, looked at the heavens and I said, to my greater power, Please find me a gig so I don't have to go. <laughs> the next day, the phone rang, oh, and I've got see? I've got a warm up gig. I'm opening up for um, that singer Josh um, Groban. 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 Yeah. Groban. That's cool. Yeah. Groban. So you heard it here first, folks. Yeah. God exists. Yes. Yeah. Believe he gave what Chunky his wish, but he only gives Josh Grobans. But yeah. listen, I'll take a Josh Groban every now and then. <laughs> but, but the Dude, thing was, I've had a, I had a Josh, Josh Groban in college. Did we turn up his mic too much? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Let's unplug that fucker. <laughs> but then again, I'm starting to think to myself, am I, am I wanting a gig um, for all the wrong reasons? Just to get out of going to San no, Diego? No. You don't want to go to San I, I Diego. I just wanted the gig. I wanted the gig. I'll be warming and up. And f- you didn't want to go to San Diego. That, that's the back part of it. Eh, that was the motivation. Yeah. yeah. But then I started negotiating. And then the lady goes. With the God? <laughs> every day <laughs> for the producer and she uh, you can tell right off the bat she did not know how to hire a warm up guy they didn't even I said well what's in your what budget say? I said what's in your budget and she goes zero because nobody even knew we needed one oh, I'm like wow. oh okay and she's like this yeah. is for PBS this is the Josh guy he's real famous yeah. you know yeah take and the lobster yeah, so I gave yeah so I, <laughs> right. so I gave her a um, super bro discount. I gave her, a, you know, a, a good rate, and then um, she said, she, "Okay, I call back in an hour." And like twenty four hours later, go by, and I'm like, I, "Okay, now I got to hit her up." So I hit her up with email. Didn't hear anything. Left the message, and then she got back. I'm walking into a meeting right now. Can you go fifty dollars a day less? I'm like, really? That's gonna make yeah. you fucking break what you. What are you doing? And I, you know, since I don't know these people, I'll build the bridge. I took fifty dollars less. It's still, you know, a decent rate. Right. But more importantly, I don't have to go to the wedding. That is important. <laughs> That's the point of the story here, folks. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah. listen. Uh, go ahead, Ando. I see another point to this, though. What? Yes, the microphone is on. I didn't get out of the sulking bar mitzvah. <laughs> no, you didn't, did you? <laughs> oh my god. No. If he's equivalent or they're equivalent about fifty bucks. They're that much closer to being one degree of chunky beef. Well, that's true. Yeah, I'm thinking next week. I would love it. Oh God, Groban, dude. I will. Groban I'll do it. In the yeah. chair. Can you poach Groban? I will. God, what do you got to lose, man? What do I got to lose? Is right. Poach him. Yeah. You know something? Getting bigger and better guests. You know, even at the NFL, I'm still not at the point where I can crack the seal. There's a couple. There's a couple hosts. First of all, you got to be real careful with that. Yeah. You know. True. You can't. I don't. I try not to poach from work. Unless somebody asks me if I, they can be on the podcast. Right. Like Sean right. Klitzner. Right. And Ben Glebe I just shot with on Friday. And he said, hey, when am I coming on your podcast? Awesome. So I said. Let's just we'll book him next Tuesday. September, he said. September. Oh, it's September? Yeah. Okay. But listen, um, also, speaking of prior guests who have spiked the needle, um, Josh Robert Thompson. Yes. Uh, we got him on the Crab Feast with Ryan Sickler and Jay Larson. He's on this week. Right. Look him up. You know, and all you Josh Robert Thompson fans like we are. Right, yeah. right. I haven't heard the show yet, but I'm going to listen tomorrow. Did you um did you feel the same thing I felt? Just a little dirty like he was cheating on us? No, I I recommended him to oh, them. But you know Josh was like, "Oh my god, this is the funniest podcast I've ever been on." Oh, I didn't see those posts. Yeah, it was on Twitter. Oh, was it? Yeah, and I tweeted back like, "You said the same thing when you were on One Degree Drinking Beer, you fucker." <laughs> well, yeah. that's cool. They, you yeah. know, they that that's a great guest for them and Yeah. Um so that's good. And by the way, um when when I was on the Crab Feast, um, our numbers went way up. So uh, any of those crab feasters who are coming back, thank you so much. Yes. Really appreciate it. Yes. Yeah. And keep coming back. Even though we were just doing a little chit-chat right here in the Garage of Love, we've got great guests. Go through our archives. And um, keep in mind, when you're drinking, you drink Venice Duck. Um, and when you're listening or watching a podcast, it's One Degree of Chunky B. Go to our website. If you're doing some shopping on Amazon, go through that. It's a win-win situation. Everybody's happy. Speaking of happy, say um, goodbye and uh, uh, and say something clever. Gary Adler. Hi, I'm Gary Adler, and you're watching and listening One Degree of Chunky B. Oh, that's good. That's good. Wow. Andy, Jeez. what you got to say goodbye oh, to these fine people? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> How do I follow that? Uh, I'm so honored to be a part of this podcast. You're fucking right you are. He's, I smell sarcasm. Yeah, I, I do too. You're fired. We, we, something, we, we want a hottie. As soon as we find a hot chick that can Unplug push the buttons. Unplug the mic. I, wait. Oh, it's just, I, 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 I,
job. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. One degree of Chunky B. Chunky B. TV. You guys are awesome. Perfect. That was cute. That was Perfect. cute. Perfect. Wait, blue arrow, right? Blue arrow. Oh, oh,